Hey guys, Disco here, and today I am near. And today I'm going to give you my first impressions of the current PTB. Um, I accidentally screwed. This is the tent number two because I accidentally um, stopped recording part. Um, because I accidentally stopped recording on my first attempt. Um, I didn't get very far, as you could tell. I'm still <laughs> waiting, but yeah. Um, I know that this video is recorded even worse than you know, videos of me in the past. I don't have any of my stuff to record with, so I'm having to make do with what I have. Um, I do have plans to do two gameplay videos. I'm not sure when those will, how I, I'm going to do those yet, just because I'm, okay. Just because I don't have any of my, my normal stuff. So it's kind of hard to um, do much but i'm gonna try to figure out something that will work hopefully it does hopefully i um hopefully i'll be able to make video um videos well i don't have any idea how to how much time i have for each video so i'm happy to the music is different a little bit i think goes deeper away Well, so I don't have the Stranger Things chapter yet. Um, wasn't, God, what am I doing? What am I yeah, doing? I, I apologize. Um, but let me, let's go over the kit. Let, let's look at the, um, there they are. That, oh, that portrait picture is so good. Anyways, we'll get to that on site. Okay, so these are those are how I'm just doing this. So let's look at oh, that's his model. Uh, interesting. Um, okay, so let me go to place killer. I won't be playing a killer match yet. Just in case you're wondering, let me go to my. A good oh he's sitting on a chair with the tractor in the pool. <laughs> they have his lap too that's amazing so is he just staying on the chair in like his idol animation please tell me he just sits on the chair because that's amazing oh he's a moderate difficulty interesting the good guy is an elusive killer capable of deceiving survivors with his illusionary footprints and deadly slice and dice his personal perks, Hex 2 can play, friends till the end, embarrassed and quit it, allow him to blind those who blind him relentlessly, hunt his obsession, and get faster around completed generators. Okay. Chucky, a ruthless killer trapped in a doll's body. He never missed an opportunity to terrorize even within the entity's realm. Good guy overall. A tiny pair of overalls abandoned with playful patterns for an innocent doll. Chest knife, a practical and easy to use weapon available in every kitchen. Let's, let's give him some charms for the fun of it. Um, okay, so it looks like one, so the icon for Barrett's included appears to be a hand holding a battery. <laughs> I love that, by the way, <laughs> that they have the friends till the end is him. Um, holding a hook that had like a chain with it, and then I like the they could jump. And then Hex Two can place him on top of somebody, like covering their eyes. That's cool. So it says, "Bear, um, bear is included." Being somewhere between man and machine has its upsides. When within 12 meters of a completed generator, you have 5% haste. The movement speed bonus lingers for one second after leaving the generator's range. Haste increases from killer's movement speed. Surprise, did you miss me, Andy? Chucky. I still think it's weird that um, there's no Andy in this game. We just have, to oh, he, he also sits on the side of the chair and like moves around, that's cool. Uh, friends till the end. You'll never, you'll kill anyone who gets between you and your target. You become obsessed with one survivor. When you hook a survivor that is not the obsession, the obsession becomes exposed for 20 seconds and reveals their aura for six seconds. 
When you hook the obsession, another random survivor screens reveals their position and becomes the obsession. I got some fresh meat lined up and I'm not gonna let you spoil it. Not this time. Chucky. Um, let me look at his first perk here, to Hex 2 can play. A Hex that teaches those who mess with you a lesson. Anytime you are stunned or blinded by any survivor four times, if there is no dual totem associated with Hex 2 can play, a dual totem because a Hex totem. Survivors who stun or blind you are blinded but for 1.5 seconds. This does not affect carry survivors. The Hex affects for as long as there really a Hex totem is standing. From now on, no more Mr. Good Guy, Chucky. Oh, is that why they called him the good guy? That That's a fun reference. Um, and his power is called Playtime's Over. After the rage of being trapped in the body of a doll subsided, the Lakeshore Strangler realized this new body was the perfect host to disorient and surprise his kills. Special ability, Heidi Ho Mode. Chucky can enter Heidi Ho Mode at any time, provided the cooldown is over. When in Heidi Ho Mode, Chucky becomes undetectable and generates map-wide footfalls. Disorienting survivors with sounds and footprints coming from many directions. Special ability slice and dice. <laughs> oh, he gets off the chair sometimes. Well, if he just run off, he just run off the player. Oh god. Um. Special ability slice and dice. Oh, he's behind the chair. That's fun. <laughs> well, in Heidi Hell mode, Chucky gets access to the charged slice and dice ability, allowing him to rush unsuspecting survivors before leaping forward and performing a slice and dice attack. Additionally, if a survivor vaults through a window or over a pallet, Chucky can quickly chain a scamper while using a slice and dice. Special ability scamper. While in Heidi Hell mode, Chucky can perform a scamper through windows or under down pallets, allowing him to close on a unsuspecting prey. The one I'm, I'm one of the most notorious slashers in history and I don't want to give up give that up. I'm Chucky the killer doll and I dig it. Chucky. Uh, so now let's look, so now let's look at his character info still. So he's got 4.4 meter speed, 32 meter range, and obviously he's caused by short. Uh, Charles Lee Ray, the infamous Lakeshore Strangler, was tracked down and shot after a murderous rampage. However, he escaped death by having his soul possess a good guy's doll named Chucky for a curse. Chucky didn't want to stay a good guy forever though, and he knew there was only one way to change that. Take the body of Andy Barclay, the first person he had revealed his secret to. After his first attempt failed, Chucky waited two long years before he found Andy again. If I remember correctly, the movies is just him constantly trying to get Andy, but like waiting a while after reaching him. There's nobody standing between Chucky and Andy. He took the boy to the good guy factory to complete the process of stealing Andy's body. But Andy's foster sister, Kyle, realized something was amiss and followed Andy to the factory. Inside the factory, Chucky forced Andy to take ground, take to the ground and spoke ancient words to take possession of his body. But the ritual didn't go as planned and Kyle quickly and desperately toppled a stack of good guy boxes over him. Chucky screamed his frustration as he pushed through the pile of boxes scattering his wits. He looked down the, the brightly lit aisle and saw Andy running into a thick swirling mass of fog. He thought he was seeing things at first, but then he realized the fog was real and they were there to help him. His words hadn't worked as intended, but he had somehow conjured something else, something unexpected, something he didn't quite understand. Not wanting to lose his only chance for a real body, he charged through the fog, screaming after Andy. Huh. So it kind of... So it kind of sounds like the entity took... Oh, good. oh that's fun! So it's hit. Oh, so it's him and like the spirit of himself together. So it's the doll, and then holding hands with the guy who possessed him. That's cool. I forget his name, but it doesn't really matter. Um, sort of the wording of his backstory makes it seem like um, Andy and Kyle are also in the realm. So I wonder if they'll be outfits or if we are like other survivors. Oh, that's cool. So. This is the player profile, so it shows your uh, grades. It has the player level. Then it shows like your devotion under that. Um, and then there's like the progress wheel. There's just some text about it. Then you got the so then there's a tap for the badges. There's a tag, uh, tap for the banners. So now what I'm gonna do, just because I want to play as, um, I'm gonna. 
play as him later, but uh, I'm gonna... Um, but now I'm gonna read add-ons because custom games will allow me to read all of them. So, the tiny scaffold... <laughs> well, if I was just common playtimes over add-on. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, sometimes a precision cut can lead to a beautiful bleed. While in Heidi Hell mode, blood pools are more visible. Strobing light. With the right training can with the right training can be used to make people more su su suggestible. Decreases the terror radius by four meters when high D hell mode is in cooldown. Good guy box. Someone kept the box around in case they needed to bring Chucky back to the store. Decreases slice and dice hate cooldown by 15%. Dull eyes. One of the advantages of possessing a mass-produced doll is easy access to replaceable parts. One high detail mode reveals auras of all windows and downed pallets within 20 meters. Power drill comes with a dozen convenient drill tips. They all make a big mess when applied to people. Reduces high detail mode cooldown by 20% after hitting a survivor with slice and dice. Um, jump rope Go good for a bit of exercise or for tying up your target. Increases duration of slice and dice by 30%. Hairspray and candle. An aerosolized inferno that will ensure a bad hair day is the least of your worries. Decreases the time that basic attacks remove from Heidi Ho by 12.5%. <laughs> Electric carving knife. The annoying buzzing sound means it's ready to carve some flash. Decreases slice and dice miss cooldown by 10%. Automatic screwdriver. A good way to make mechanical adjustments on the fly. Missing a slice and dice reduces Heidi Ho mode cooldown by 15%. Yardstick. Good for measuring distance, even better for laying down this beauty. A scamper reveals survivor auras within 20 meters of you for 5 seconds. Silk Pillow. For when you want to smother your target with silky smooth softness, tear radius is reduced by 4 meters with slice and dice, charge time is increased by 75%. Running Shoes. Gain for, um, the latest in high performance killer doll athletic technology. <laughs> Gain 4% movement speed after a scamper for 3 seconds. Rat Poison, the secret ingredient in a killer chili. While performing a slice and dice, the auras of survivors within 8 meters of you are revealed for 5 seconds. Portable TV, small enough for any room, just keep it out of the bath. Slice and dice duration increased by 100% once the exit gates have been powered. Straight Razor, for what a close shave needs to be really, really close. Hitting with a slice and dice attack inflicts hemorrhage and mangled on the hit survivor. Plastic Bag, nothing tires out a kill like a lack of oxygen. If the survivor walks through an illusionary footfall, they suffer from exhaustion for 15 seconds. Pile of Nails, it's a lot easier to stay hidden when your target is worried about a pile of nails flying at their head. Upon manually exiting Heidi Helmo, the good guy remains on the for 5 seconds. Mirror Shards. A bunch of shattered mirror pieces that reflect light and shadow, further disorienting the already disoriented. The good guy can see the illusionary footfalls around survivors. Iridescent Amulet. A pendant of great power recreated within the realm. Increases duration of Heidi Hell Mode by 100%. Basic attacks immediately end Heidi Hell Mode. If I don't get this guy soon, I'm screwed, Chucky. Hard hat. Keeps the dome intact while performing high impact activities. Performing a scamper under a pallet break. Breaks it immediately and exits heavy mode. A true classic never goes out of style. Chucky. Okay, guys, well, that will do it for my first impressions video. First impressions, very cool. Um, I'm very excited to know I play as Chucky, but also play as the Tricks Rear Changes. Um, he sounds pretty, he sounds pretty solid. Um, and everything's cool. I like the animations for him so far, I like the music, all that. But, um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, read the bell. Do all the algorithmic garbage that helps us out a lot and um, means a lot to us. Um, the next video will be me playing as Chucky and then I'm going to play as Trickster and test out his changes as well. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.